Good morning traders, this is Mark here from Day Trading Room. Uh, time is just after half past 10 in the morning London time on the uh, 4th of May. Um, hope you all had a great weekend. It was the Royal Wedding here in the UK and we had a May Day on Monday. So I don't normally take days off but as the weather was pleasant, uh, unusually so actually for, for England at this time of year, uh, took some time, a little bit of time away just to relax and enjoy a bit of time out. But anyway, back at it this week, so um, let's get cracking with another video. Um, but before I, I start, I just want to apologize for the microphone, the audio quality. I'm on the laptop at home. I'm not at, I'm not at the office at the moment. I'm going to go in a minute. Um, so I haven't got the uh, my headset either. So apologies for that and also the screen layout. But you, you know, we'll, we'll get we'll get uh, through this video. Um, three trades from yesterday, going to go in a lot of detail about this one. Uh, I want to really talk about how that's set up and all the things that went into line for me. I'll just go through that one and another and an oil trade. But first things first, uh, if you've watched the videos, if you're if you've watched any of these videos and you're regular on the on the blog, you'll know I place a lot of emphasis on the mental game of trading. And the first thing I do is I say to myself before I come in after a day off, or even on the weekend, or after a long weekend, um, set myself some additional boundaries. And those were for me. I'm only going to take four trades today. I don't want to get carried away. I want to get wait till I'm back in tune with it. Um, reduce my risk level very slightly, and just look for for the best setups as I would do every every other day. But just place that additional uh, boundary in place to say, hey, you know, don't get carried away today. First day back after a long a long weekend. You know, you're just in relax mode. Just get get a feel for it. Um, Spend a little bit extra time pre-market, just getting your 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 head around the new levels or anything like that, and then just um, you know don't get carried away in the day. Just get a good green day under the belt, and then we can look to to squeeze the uh, the throttle down towards the end of the week. So um, yeah, it's worth considering um, whether that's right or wrong for you. Uh, only you can decide that. So let's have a chat about this trade first. So this is Dow trade here, long here, scalped it out up here. Um, why would I do that? You say, well, let's put on the Dow cash chart, then it becomes clear. Uh, we pushed up here, started to cycle lower. Let me just get the pen, pen out for you. Uh, you know, we pushed up here. This was a pretty good resistance level. Roll back over. There's the gap level there. Uh, there's the magic 12,800 psychological level. Um, pull back, plow through, and look at this. This is just lovely. Um, quite a distance from top to bottom. So we're okay in terms of not catching a falling knife too much. Um, got a target for the scout back there. Uh, prior days lows, the dotted red. So it all it all fitted into place quite nicely, really. So that was worth a shot. Took that and scalped that out um, just in one batch. Didn't didn't hang around with that, um, which which actually was okay because it roll over later on in the day. Um, I'll talk about oil next. This was just a pretty standard setup for me. Um, you guys are pretty aware of this now. Uh, let's just flick this to a five minute so we can see the uh, uh, sort of context of the trade. There you go. There's the open. The open was two o'clock uh, London, and you can just see. You know, it's pretty obvious we're in a range. I wasn't interested in it at all um, until we broke out of the range. So, you know, that, that, that makes life easy for you. Markets in a range. Just accept that that's what's happening. I don't want to. I'll, especially for oil, if it's Dow, it's different. I'll be getting involved and looking for double tops and bottoms. But oil, um, my trading plan at the moment is looking for those little pullbacks after the drive. Um, so it's easy for me. I just put up my my my, my lines here, uh, set an alert if needed, and when it breaks, then I start getting interested. So it broke to the downside, and then I'm going to look for a setup. I want to just make sure everything's in line first. Let's pull this down here so we can see a bit clearer. Hopefully that's better. You know, I want to make sure it's all okay first. Do my checks. Yes, we have broken down. Check the 15 minute, make sure everything's okay. Don't rush into anything. Yes, good volume, that's fine. Good drive lower, yes, check, check. Um, pull back here, right, looking to get short as we start to pull back. Three bars, okay, all good so far. Have we got a target in mind? Yes, we have, got the 111. That's gonna be my, my target. Got the low of that there as well to scale out. All good, okay, happy with that. Right, 
volume starts decreasing now i'm just concentrating on the tape really focused on the tape looking to see what happened uh actually struggled to get a good tape read on this if i'm honest as it pushed up here just couldn't really see the seller he was disguising himself quite well and i think because it sort of rolled over started to roll over didn't roll over that it was a little bit difficult to to read but anyway uh, yeah finally got a got a got a good read on it a little bit late probably 20 cents too late um which which i was aware of and because i was aware of that i did come out just as we broke this low just before that 111 uh, level so it wasn't as good a trade as it could have been um, but nevertheless it's still a nice high probability you know the, the drive lower the pullback on low volume and the subsequent drive um, it's just trying to get a read around there but it, you know if i can't get a read i'll wait until i can and if i still couldn't get a read on it then you know what i'll let it go by me there's plenty of other trades in the week it's it's meaningless in the scheme of things but uh yeah finally got a little read on that and uh it got a little a push low which was great nice little scalp on that so let's move on i wanted to talk about this dow trade here in a bit more detail okay gap lower situation and for me i think the biggest thing were the were the ticks you know the ticks look how weak they were they couldn't get above the zero line that's telling me that you know that the trades on the offer um just aren't there they aren't there across the, across the whole of the uh, you know the new york stock exchange just aren't there uh, more trades on the bid consistently all throughout this time period this was the sort of telling point really on this push up pushed up here a tick just couldn't get above zero a volume nothing dramatic uh there was good support there there was good support there um so that was all good and you can see i took the short there but i just want to also point out let me just show you the overnight trade this was another thing that added weight to the argument I'm just going to change this to a five minute as well. Okay. Right, so there's the overnight trade from yesterday. There's your high. Uh, there's your low. You can see about midday London time. And the open is, it's here. Okay, oh, it's a little bit later than that. She's about here. Right, so, but you can see there's the overnight range. Um, plenty of downside targets to be had uh, in terms of that but what was also interesting is this area here uh, I'll get the drawing tool out here I'm, I'm on the laptop without a mouse so it's taken me a while to get the drawing thing this here was the cluster uh, where the highest volume occurred throughout the night which was around pretty much where we opened so we had that range overnight from there to there we chopped around we'd push down and we'd pull back and we'd pull back to sort of half the range and the key uh, larger volume area so and we hadn't actually even revisited that gap level so that's a lot of useful information really and as you know the overnight trade gives you a clue as to potentially what could happen um, at the open let's get back to the uh, daily one minute back up there okay so that's a, so pretty much you know that's what i saw um i thought okay there's plenty of downside room to go uh dow wise we just opened her up and poked above that 12800 hadn't encouraged any buyers as well so that's another thing we've got the prior days low there so there's a lot of reasons to take the short if it sets up and seeing the ticks and then the bell goes we watch it see the drive up see the ticks not confirming there is some good support there but my risk is quantified you know i can take the short um when i see this here i can take the short around here um and my stop's going to be here um it was there were about 12 ticks stop something like that which just nicely put me above the high and then i'm just closing out i guess you're closing two batches on this candle uh for 11 and 13 ticks now you know that's a that's a great little trade that um realizing that the, the situation is that there is no there is no buying at the moment okay we did put in that low and then we drove a lot higher but that's irrelevant if you're just taking some out of the market there that's fine you know you can be done for the day you can be done for the day in the first 15 minutes uh if you're getting a, a lot of clues from the overnight trade what the open's looking like and also i did post on the blog yesterday that the ticks had the lowest reading they, they have done since the 13th of 
uh, April, I think, or was it March? I'm not sure. Well, it was several weeks anyway, yesterday. So, you know, that's interesting information. And of course, it's, you know, the old adage of May, so it may go away, <laughs> whether that means anything or not. And just that the Open was different yesterday. The Open was different yesterday. It wasn't uh, Monday, should I say. Um, I mean yesterday based on on, on Tuesday. Uh, Mon the Open on Monday was different to all the other Opens. You know, look at all the other Opens. We've pretty much driven off the Open um, to some degree or another. We may have come down, uh, but we haven't had that sort of drive, that sort of selling, a pretty, pretty aggressive selling. And the rest of the day, you know, a little bit of weakness there, a little bit different. So... I'm just going to look for this, the same pattern again today. Confirmed by the ticks, confirmed by the overnight range. It fits in nicely. Is my risk quantified? Yes. Uh, have I got a little bit of a target? Yes. Does it fit? Not. Does it work? Yes. Took it. Great. So three trades, three out of three. Please with the patience. Uh, Please with, with a lot of things. There were more opportunities. Uh, there's no doubt there were more opportunities there. Um, this was this was a nice little trade. It's in my window of opportunity. Um, you know, the, the uh, quarter to five, which is the midday uh, New York, quarter past five, the push up, uh, that would have been that would have been a great little trade. But hey, um, I was keeping it tight, just taking a few trades and it worked out well. So pretty much similar today, going to uh, just make sure I'm taking the very best trades, um, trying to reduce them back down again. You know, I seem to have that battle of doing a lot of trades and then reducing them down, doing a lot of trades and reducing them down. So I will... Um, as always, managing the risk, that's the number one thing. Um, if you see a setup, but the risk is unacceptable, then let it go. And if you need to just push push your seat back from the screen, then do that. Um, it's all about the mental game, guys. Uh, it's all about the mental game and managing the risk. If you can manage your risk, you're ahead of the game. If you can master, or if you can at least uh, work on uh, the mental side of trading, then everything will start to fall into place so good training guys uh, have a good day today manage your risk back with another video later in the week